So you'll probably remember a couple of weeks back, the sports world pretty electrified when a Zamboni driver had to step into the net and he actually won a game for the Carolina Hurricanes. Such a great moment. And it turns out Buffalo had its own version, of course, of the David Ayers story more than 50 years ago when a guy named Porky Palmer went from stick boy to goalie for the old Buffalo Bison. Heck of a name. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Pete Gallivan takes us back in today's unknown story of Western New York. This isn't a museum. It's the basement of avid collector John Boutte. It's all memories. It's history, and that's why we do this, is us to, to preserve history. And walking around here is like walking through Buffalo sports history. This is Porky right here, Ansel Palmer. This particular picture is of the 1964-65 Buffalo Bisons, the hockey team that preceded the Sabres, and a season that came to mind a couple of weeks back when Zamboni driver David Ayers stepped into the net as an emergency goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes in Toronto, because this team featured similar heroics from an even less likely character. Oh, Porky was a stick boy. He was a, a skate sharpener, stick boy. He did just about everything. And on November 20th, 1964, the stick boy would add another job title to his resume. It says, how's your regular work day on a Friday at the Pepsi-Cola plant? And so Porky Palmer is retired these days and living in Las Vegas. He told me over the phone that he remembers that game like it was yesterday after working his seven to four shift at the bottling plant, he went down to the odd like he always did to help the Bisons prepare for their road game in Rochester. So I got down there after working eight hours on production line and we started packing the bus up. Well, Phil Watson, who was a coach at the team then, says, hey, uh, make sure you bring your equipment. I said, what? Yeah, throw it out, you never know what's gonna happen. And sure enough, after he wolfed down a sub sandwich on the bus ride. All of a sudden, in the first period, five-minute mark, Chadwick gets uh, sent out by somebody, I think it was his own, our own defenseman. Bison star goalie Ed Chadwick had to leave the game with a concussion. Rochester general manager Joe Crozier offered the Bison's coach the services of his emergency goalie. And Phil Hutchins looked him straight in the eye and said, no, we're going to use the little fat guy over there. <laughs> and a, a decent game, I stopped 28 shots. He even forced the game into overtime. In the overtime, uh, I stopped the first shot, but the second one, uh, left up, put it between my pads, and that was it. Leaving him, yeah, with a loss, but also a great story to last a lifetime. A spot in this retaken team picture, and his own chapter in the unknown stories of Western New York. There it is. Yeah, and Porky began working for the Bisons in 1953 and became one of the Buffalo Sabres' very first employees when the NHL came to town, worked for the team until 1995. A great story. It you is know, great. Every time you think you hear one of these national stories, you're like, that's so crazy. Yeah. We always have a Buffalo story to match it, and yeah, we always do. P. Allen and Bell's like, hold my beer. Hold my beer. I got it. I got another one for you guys. Yeah, I, I don't know where he comes up with these, but he, he is amazing. I know. It's so good. That's off to you, Gallivan. <laughs> good job. Way to go, Peter. Porky. I like that. <laughs>